you believed you must be big in order to be tough. Then you should get to know me, I'll teach you other stuff. I'm Madeline, I'm Madeline, I may be very small. I'm Madeline, I'm Madeline, and inside I'm tall. She may be teeny tiny, diminutive petite, but that has never stopped her from being pretty neat. Bonjour! Hello, fellow travelers! Fill in your name on the passport and we will go on a great adventure! W I R T G In an old house in Paris that was covered with vines lived twelve little girls in two straight lines. They left the house at half past nine in two straight lines in rain or shine. The smallest one was Madeline. They gathered today at the Paris train station to wish Madeline goodbye on her summer vacation. Madeline and her dog were about to embark to the camp for young girls run by Madame Boulac. Madeline feared she might be late, so she ran ahead to the station gate. Au revoir, everybody! <laughs> Suddenly, under the steps nearby, a sight quite amazing did Madeline spy. It was a very old lamp, which she touched very lightly, but it started to glow, and it glowed very brightly. A genie flew out and gave them a scare. But brave Madeline was not afraid, and a new friend she quickly made. But both the genie and Madeline got a dreadful surprise when the lamp was stolen right in front of their eyes. The thief ran for the train, leaving Madeline to stare as something fell from his pocket and flew into the air. Madeline grabbed for the paper with one quick snap and discovered the thief had dropped a map. Genevieve came over to sniff the clue, and the frail old map into pieces flew. At that very moment, a train sped by and scattered these five pieces through the Paris sky. Madeline knew she could no longer go to camp, for she must save that genie and the magic lamp. There goes my train to Madame Boulogne's camp for girls. Au revoir. Goodbye. Perhaps I will go to camp next year. Pardon moi. Pardon me, Monsieur Carnot. I need to follow the thief that got on that train. Do you know where he was headed? Oh, it has been a very busy day, Madeleine. Trains coming and going and going and coming. I am sorry, but I forget. When I find the rest of the map pieces, I will know where the thief is going. Then I can buy my ticket. To do that, you'll need a passport and some money. When you have everything you need, Madeleine, come back and I will sell you a ticket. Merci, Monsieur Carnot. I'll be back. You can count on it. Madeline must find all five pieces of the map. Thank you. 
Bonjour, Madeleine. Bonjour, Fabrice. Hello. Will you take my picture, please? I'd be happy to if you'll do me a favor in return. I have six photographs that have gotten out of order. They're supposed to tell a story, but they're all mixed up. Can you help me? Of course. May I see them? Now, what order should these pictures go in? Madeline has placed the photos just so. She is quite amazing, as you already know. I have put them in order, Fabrice. Magnifique! Great! Now I will take your picture. Souris, smile. Thank you. Thank you, Madeleine. Now I can get my passport. Now that Madeleine's photo is a work of art, she can get her passport and depart. <laughs>